So this isn't really the normal. I'm making this video because I left a comment on a certain game's YouTube channel, which may or may not be the creator's YouTube channel. And he responded asking what my critiques were. So I gave him a little bit of my critiques, but there's two more I want to give. Plus, I'm going to enlighten on the first one. And, well, what better to do a game critique but in the motherfucking room? And if you know what room this is, you know what room this is. All right, let's go ahead and start it. So you're probably wondering what game I'm talking about. Well, that is Rumble, right? The earthbending game where you earthbend. Uh, and to help me out with the earthbending uh, you know, stuff, I have Toph. There she is, right there. And now I'm probably going to step in front of her. You know, she's over there. All right, so anyways, the first critique is well the activation now i don't know if you know earthbending or anything in avatar or last airbender situation but usually when you earthbend you look a little something like this Toph, will you like to show them as you can see it's very fluid rigid but fluid the wonderful minds creating this game and the critiques who didn't even mention it decided no it looks like this. E, 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 E. And that was caused what I like to call armpit rash. I didn't even know that was a thing. But thanks to Rumble, I know now. And it just boggles my mind. Like, buddy, we have buttons. You hear that? Like, li listen, look at that. Oh my God, is that buttons? And we have grip control, so you like maybe grip onto the hands. Oh, it's, I mean, it's a simple fucking concept, right? Grip hand, boom, 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 done. I just did three moves, and all I did was grip my hand. And look, no armpit rash. Look at that, no armpit rash. All right, fix it. It's a, it's a very simple fucking thing you could do in less than a second. Theoretically speaking. Now, let's move on to number two, power scaling. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, right now, Rumble has this weird thing where either you do the proper action or you don't do the proper action, meaning a yes or no situation, right? Now, compile with the armpit burn that you're going to be getting while playing this pile of shit of a fucking game, right? You got to figure out how to do the moves with no indications that you got close to the move in the first fucking place. For an example, even though the guy I'm currently fighting right now, he's a veteran. He has been playing this since day fucking one, theoretically speaking. And even he is throwing up hand signs and arm signs, whatever you want to call it, and still nothing's popping up. That shouldn't happen. I'm the noob. I'm the guy who hasn't figured it out yet. He should be flinging rocks to me left and right and not have a single fuck up at once. But because your system is stuck on yes and or no, right, there's no give. It's either you did the move or you didn't do the move. But if you just add a little bit of give, right, then he would be able to do the move but it would just be lower powered. But you'd still see the move, giving you a dopamine hit that you did the move. Maybe have a little holographic of showing you where you went wrong. You could turn it on and off, make it a toggle. I'm just saying. Needs to be a power scaling, not a yes or no. By the way, it took a long time, almost an entire day to find that matchmaking. And that was any. Anyways, back to the random intruder. Who is that? Is that the nerd? Is that the nerdy nerd? The nerdy turd? I'm shooting a video. What are you doing here? I rented this room out for six hours. You signed a contract, James. You signed the motherfucking contract. All right. 
Don't tell me there's an avatar pedestal right there. Don't tell me that there's an avatar pedestal right there of the nerd. There I, is. I, I signed a contract. Okay. You told me I could be <gasps> here. You're not even in cam. You're not even in frame. What the fuck you doing? You're a poopy head. You're a poopy head. You're a poopy. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at look at this look at this look at this son of a bitch. Oh, now he turned into a fucking sexy mushroom. Get the fuck out of here. Turn back into the nerd. What? Turn back into the nerd. I'm shooting a video doing a review of Rumble. I have a special guest here, a random ass fucking mushroom girl. Yeah, I'm gonna make you high. Well, this game's already giving me fucking armpit rash. All right, this fucking game right here, fucking Rumble. You ever played that game before? No, you're on desk. Yeah. You're on pure desk. Oh, you have played Rumble? Yeah. The earthbending game? Yeah. What do you think about it? Did you get armpit rash from it? Or you actually, did you actually get past the tutorial phase? It fucking sucks if I got past the tutorial phase. I could not get fucking past it. I couldn't figure out how to do the damn moves. And I got fucking armpit rash from repeating the <laughs> same hard. fucking a action over and over again. Like, I don't know about you, but earthbending is flowing, right? Now, tell me if this sounds yeah. like a really good idea for you. Like, imagine there is a power scaling system. Meaning, if, let's say you do the move, but it's not perfect. It's, it's a little sloppy, but it still creates the object. Right, it still creates the pillar, still creates the rock throw or whatever, but it just kind of... the live-action movie where you're slow as hell? No, nah, the movie is slow as hell, but it's, you know, it's slow, right? It's not as powerful as it could be. And maybe, just maybe, have a holographic, right? You know, for the training mode. Yeah. Have, like, the little hollows up so you can know that you're hitting the right thing. Like, the hollow breeds what you're trying to do, puts a hollow up, and you're like, oh, okay. Or leaves it to say, hey, you were here, you need to be here. That way you can train to learn it. Instead of just going, why the fuck is it? Fucking put some damn baby powder on these motherfuckers. It's not punching. It's not, well, you're getting hit by the fucking robot over and over again. But anyways, yeah, power scaling. It would work so well. And it would make the game actually fucking playable. Alright. And the final thing. Yeah. The running. <laughs> I didn't know you could fuck up running. I did not know that. You guys proved to me that you can fuck up running. Alright. Yeah. In most games, to run, right, you just throw your arms back and forth. And it's pretty simple. Now, they don't let you go full speed. No matter how fast your arms are going, you can't go any faster. Even though you're trying to, it's like pressing that. It's probably uh, holding the fuck out of the A button when you're trying to capture a Pokemon. No matter how many times you do this, you're not going any faster. Even though you have to use your own physical stamina to fucking move. But this game, <laughs> rumble, rumble, bias, guys. You somehow came up with an idea that first, you don't have to move your arms like this. You have to move them like this in a weird ass fucking way and to top it off it resets the speed resets every time you change direction so while you're i can't hold up on the joystick but while you're holding up on the joystick trying to move forward and you're moving your arms in a retarded way gaining more armpit rash from before you're gonna switch directions by micrometers and any speed you gain goes right back down to zero, meaning you'll never gain speed. And so you're just sitting there going, yeah, 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 I'll be there eventually. Yeah, 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 I'll be there eventually. How did you fuck that up? How did you fuck that? It's a simple thing. I swear, the most biggest fuck-ups I've ever seen in VR games is when people try <laughs> to do too much when all they have to do is slap a chair on a vehicle. Like with the boat I, I, in my short earlier. Yeah, you got this guy with the jet ski, and it's like, oh, we gotta have the jet ski bounce around. We gotta have it separate from the chair. And then you got another guy who can't even fucking get the ocean right for these quest people. 
for the Quest players, right? <laughs> yeah. And all he did was took, oh, uh, here's a boat. Uh, it floats on the ocean, and I slapped the chair on it. And it's done. And it's a hundred times better! <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> stop doing extra shit. Just because it's extra doesn't mean it's better. You know? The simplest answer is usually the fucking right answer! It's not hard. It's a very simple concept, people. <sighs> Anyways, that's my three critiques about Rumble. If you like this video, leave a like below. If you want me to do more angry VR fucking hyper nerd videos in the video game room, I don't know why the fuck the nerd turned into a mushroom lady. Apparently, he's uh, into that now. You know? I wonder if he's going to come in here one day. Yeah, I don't know. Either. Anyways, I'm, I'm just high as hell. He, yeah, he's just high as hell. I don't even he know where you were talking He's about. high because he's been playing your shitty game and he wants to experience some sense of dopamine because your game can't fucking do it. Oh, the great job on the sound effects and the, you know, the, the vibration and, you know, the punching sound pretty good. It's just those three things. Those three fucking things are a main issue in your pile of shit game. Thank you for watching. Wait, you have a channel? Yeah, I have a channel. Are you not subscribed? Oh, no. Motherfucker! I got this shit! Oh yeah, I am subscribed! Oh yeah! It's not working! It's not working! I wonder why!